electrophysiology is the study of complicated heart rhythm disturbances. An electrophysiologist primarily concerns himself with how the heart operates from an electrical standpoint. Patients may come in complaining of palpitations. They may come in complaining of sudden pass-up spells that they can't quite explain. They may come in complaining of feeling fatigued and dizzy and find out it's a slow heartbeat. So anything that has to do with the electrical conduction system of the heart falls in the purview of an electrophysiologist. We pride ourselves in trying to make diagnoses in a non-invasive manner, but when the need arises and we have to become invasive to study the heart's electrical system, there are things such as electrophysiology procedures. Uh, that's where we actually test the electrical system of the heart to try and induce either slow heartbeats or determine if they're having fast heart rhythms. There are things such as tilt table test assessments which help us in the diagnosis of people who have had fainting smells. And then if need be, there are catheter-based ablations where we actually cauterize pieces of heart tissue that may be responsible for fast heart rhythms. The Holy Cross has really taken a forefront and committed itself to building a brand new state-of-the-art electrophysiology laboratory. In this lab we have 3D mapping equipment, rotational CT angiography that allow us to see the heart with less radiation exposure, do the procedures in a safe and effective manner, and speed patient care. So this is a case of a 55-year-old gentleman who's suffered with atrial fibrillation for two to three years. He's actually had a prior electrical shock trying to restore a normal heartbeat called sinus rhythm and unfortunately went back into AFib within about five days despite having the electrical shock and despite being on antiarrhythmic drugs. Antiarrhythmic drugs are medications that cardiologists and electrophysiologists use to try and suppress the heart from having AFib. So this is our patient who at the beginning of the case, if you can see here, this is atrial fibrillation electrical activity. And as we're burning, you can then see that he transitions to a normal heartbeat. We were able to burn his heart or ablate his heart into sinus rhythm. If you look at the top of the screen, this is an actual 3D picture of the patient's heart. This is his left atrium. This is the left atrial appendage. And this is representing a frontal view of the patient. If I turn it around and look at the back side of the heart, you see four pulmonary veins. These are the veins that bring blood back from the lungs and empty them into the left atrium. We know that atrial fibrillation tends to come from within these pulmonary veins. And what we do as an electrophysiologist is we actually burn around the circumference of the pulmonary veins on the left side as well as on the right side. And then we actually, in this particular patient's case, I elected to go ahead and place what we call a box lesion, burning from the roof on the left to the roof on the right, as well as on the bottom. So you can see an outline of a box forming here. And in this patient's case, when we completed our burn lines, we noticed something very interesting. His atrial fibrillation started to organize itself and then started to slow itself down and then eventually terminated into a normal heart rhythm. If you look at the patient's electrical signals, what you see here is these small little electrical deflections are actually a single beat of atrial fibrillation. And as we're completing this patient's atrial fibrillation ablation, we notice something very interesting. The atrial fibrillation starts to slow itself down. The spacing between beat to beat starts to increase. It becomes more chaotic and then eventually the atrial fibrillation can no longer sustain itself and the patient terminates into a nice, normal heartbeat. This person has been in AFib for almost two to three years and today we were able to ablate him into a regular rhythm. This is the ultimate endpoint that any electrophysiologist is trying to achieve. <laughs>